The first thing is that the ungodly are spiritually poor. First thing, they lack faith. Matthew chapter 13 verse 58 says, And he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Second thing under the ungodly and spiritually poor is that they lack understanding. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 21 says, The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for lack of sense. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13 says, Therefore my people go into exile for lack of knowledge. Their honored men go hungry and their multitude are parched with thirst. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 5 says, And constant friction among people who are depraved in mind and depraved of truth, imagining that godliness is a means of gain. Second characteristic or second thing of uh, the ungodly or being spiritually poor is that they lack God. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 12 says, Remember that you were at that time separated from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. The ungodly and spiritual lack eternal life. Point number four. Matthew chapter 16 verse 26 says, For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what shall a man give in return for his soul? Luke chapter 12 verse 20 through 21 says, But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul is required of you and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So is the one who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. James chapter 5 verse 1 through 6 regarding the ungodly being spiritually poor and that they lack eternal life it says come now you rich weep and howl for the miseries that are coming upon you your riches have rotted and your garments are moth eaten your gold and silver have corroded and their corrosion will be evidence against you and will eat your flesh like fire you have laid up treasure in the last days behold the wages of the laborers have mowed your fields which you have kept back by fraud are crying out against you and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on the earth in luxury and in self-indulgence. You have fattened your hearts in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the righteous person. He does not resist you. Fifth thing of the ungodly being spiritually poor is that they lack knowledge of their spiritual poverty. Revelation chapter 3 verse 17 says, For you will say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing, not realizing that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked.